Hello everyone. So if you're new to astrophotography or astronomy, you probably got your tripod and you probably run out there and try to set it up each night and you want to orient it so you're pointing towards the North Pole or North, North Star. Well, one thing you can do is you can put little markers in the ground. Now you saw my little, my little introduction. I have five little concrete pads set up into my yard. Why five when a tripod only has three? Well, <laughs> I set it up three years ago and I actually, when I first did it, I did it backwards. You want to do it so the, the one leg is pointing north. That would be this leg. And I had it backward, reversed. It, I, it was working fine for two years having it backwards. The reason you'd you'd really want it that leg pointing north is because for when it's doing meridian flips and you had a camera, it may interfere with the leg when it does its meridian flip. I just kept watch of it, um, so it never hit that leg. But I finally switched it this year. Now, another thing I have it on my uh, scope buggy. Most of you probably don't have a scope buggy, and you probably not want to set it on little concrete pads or maybe you do I don't know but I, I originally I just had little circles little flags in the ground and I put my tripod directly on it when I put my tripod directly on the ground it's only when I got this scope buggy that I put the those concrete uh, pads I'm Kurt Zeptel and you're watching Astro Quest 1、okay, you notice I put bricks underneath it. The bricks elevate scope buggy so the wheels are not no longer touching the ground. So it's sitting, everything's sitting on the bricks, and I got it directly under the leg of the tripod. And you'll also notice I put something else there. Those were little parts of roofing shingles, and they do two different things. One thing they do is they stop a lot of the vibrations and another thing is they level it to make it so it's level and it just so happens when I redid this this year I really was very careful when I did it and I made it perfectly level so this this thing is now level so I just had to put one shingle in each brick and it's perfectly level so that was another plus so what's the advantage of doing this well right now it's already oriented north and it's the next best thing to having a permanent mount or concrete pier. If you look in the background where my hand is right now, that's where my astronomy shed is, and I got a permanent mount in there. So that's our, I don't have to pull or line or anything. It's already set up. I just turn the thing on and away I go imaging. This, I still have to pull or alignment, do a fine pull or alignment. Right now it's rough setup. What I'll do when it gets dark out, I would do a pull or alignment using a polar scope. And then, since I use the ASI Air, I do another, I really refine it with the polar alignment feature on ASI Air. As I said, the ASI Air is unbelievable as far as I can tell. It, it does a bang up job. I, I actually, I can get it pretty close by doing it with my polar scope, but I can make it even better with that ASI Air. I was going to do a video showing you how to do it with the ASI Air, but I decided not to because you know what? There's already a, a bunch of good videos on there and、uh, that already have it, and I'd just be repeating what these people did. A couple of them in particular is Cody from Astro Blender and Steve Miller from Entering Astronomy. Th those two did a, do some great ASI Air videos, so I, I'd just be repeating what they said. So I, I'll put links where you can watch them how they do it. If I do find out anything additional with the ASI error, I will, by all means, I will bring it to your attention. Okay, one more thing. You probably saw me walk around with this thing、uh, attached to the, the weights. Someone long ago told me or mentioned that when you have a scope buggy and you're wheeling it around, don't have the clutch locked in because it might. It may damage the gears. And 
I don't know if it's true or not, but why take any chances? So I, I loosened the clutch and just put this thing around the weights. You notice I didn't really, I wasn't really pulling on this thing at all. I just, in case the scope started turning a bit, I just have this thing where I can catch it. But um, it really, it's pretty much stable as I'm wheeling it around. So it's just a precaution. Anyways, I think that's all. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.